Finally, 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 the rock has come back. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAD, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Hey, your man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. Y'all that have been paying attention to the channel, man, you know you've been dropping information in regards to Errol Spence and Sebastian Fedora. You know, the on again, off again, like a bad breakup. They're supposed to fight this time, and they, then they got postponed to that time, then it got changed to that time. Well, finally, 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 the rock! Errol Spence is back, man. You know what I'm saying? So apparently, you know, the WBO has intervened and say, hey, man, if the Spence of Fedora thing's not getting solidified, uh, then we gonna order Spence to fight, you know, uh, um, uh, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford, who's next in line for the WBO as an interim champion. But apparently, Fedora and Bud have come to an agreement that he's gonna allow him to go through a voluntary defense against EJ, you know, Errol Spence Jr., which I think is dope, man. It seems like Terrence Crawford is kind of throwing EJ a bone, like, man, go ahead, take that, you know what I'm saying? See how you see how you fare, you know? And then in the scenario that Sebastian Fedora does beat Errol Spence, which is highly likely because Errol Spence is coming off of a long layoff in addition to his first loss, in addition to his first time being, you know, dropped and stopped, you know, so we're not sure how he's going to bounce back, you know, unfortunately, even though I have faith in Errol Spence to come back strong and, and potentially beat Fedora, we just don't know, right? It's up in the air. It's anybody's game, you know, anybody's game to win and Fedora's a formidable fighter. Um, So if Fedora does win, then that could potentially lead up to a larger unification bout for Terrence Crawford's WBA at Junior middleweight and then Fundora's WBC and WBO belts you know what I'm saying so there's a lot of movement at this hot division of 154 because you know um soon next week I believe October 19th I believe is the actual date uh between Tim Zoom and Bakram Mertazali if they'll be fighting for the IBF title for Bakram's IBF title so there's a lot of movement for the belts on 154 man. that's a hot division junior middleweight so you know we're gonna get that fight apparently it's finalized and they're anticipating that that fight will be also held in you know Errol Spence's backyard his home state of Texas man so that'd be dope to see that you know and then also you know, we dropped the news about David Morrell and Dave Benavidez fighting in early 2025, particularly uh, January. And, and with further specificity to the date being January 25th, it's all speculation, nothing's finalized. A lot of people are saying that this may be a double header with uh, Spence versus Fandora and Benavidez versus Morrell. That'd be dope. However, like I said, this is all just speculation. We don't know if it'll be the same card or if it won't. You know, don't get your hopes up. But I remember uh, earlier um, this year, when they speculated that Tank versus Frank would be on the same car with uh, Benavidez and Vazic, and people shot that down, and then it actually came into fruition, you know, by hook or by crook, a lot of a lot of moving parts, you know. So same with this one. I'm not saying that it's for sure gonna happen, but I don't want to throw it out the window and put it to the wayside yet, because it's nothing's impossible, you know. And that'd be a dope card if it would be a doubleheader back in Texas. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think Errol Spence will be Fedora? Do you think it's over for Spence if Fedora gets him out of there? I think it's very interesting, like I said, because you. You know a lot of people looking at Fundora as being the beneficiary of an unfortunate situation for Tim Zoo when he when he sustained that hellacious nasty cut albeit unintentional is it was an inadvertent elbow from a uh, Sebastian Fundora no malicious intent there but he did sustain a cut that it not only impaired his vision but it drained his energy because he was losing a lot of blood from the second round on, man. So a lot of people are looking like, oh, Fandora, he may not even be a champion. And Fandora, you know, he did touch the canvas and get knocked out his fight before that to Brian Mendoza. And we know, no disrespect to Brian Mendoza, he's a formidable fighter, you know, s salute to him. But Errol Spence, at the top two at the top of his game or even close to the top of his game we know that he's a higher caliber fighter than brian mendoza so this is this is very interesting man like i said with errol spence having to come back off of his long layoff his his long sabbatical and coming off his first loss of his career in brutal fashion and fedora being kind of considered a vulnerable champion you know he has a lot to prove as well he loves to fight so we'll see how it goes uh me i'll be pulling for errol spence i like fedora two shots to sebastian fedora and his sister gabriella who are two champions in the same household that's very dope you know um i think he'd go either way i think right now just to be fair i would say it's 60 40 leaning in fedora's favor but i'm pulling for errol spence you know what i'm saying the big fish to come back and you know at least 
end his career on top, man, get this dub and then sail off into the sunset as a, and, and, and think of it as a, as a great career, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that comments in the comments. Remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets